what's going on guys so doing a little bit of a uh, kind of cave update thing here and uh for those who haven't been paying any attention um i have a new obsession with these boston scally caps i think they look good they fit really good however they are scattered about the house um literally on almost any flat surface but what I did a little while ago when I had a return is I bought some of these little kind of hat hangers. As you can see, I've already got one up there. So I'm um, trying to find any open wall space in this house is uh, difficult to say the least. So um, I was going to put them up by the main entranceway, but to me that just wasn't going to do, uh, do me any good. I need them where I can get them and most of the time I wear them in here. Uh, when I'm on video. So uh, I have five of them currently. Uh, I need more, but I bought five because that's as much as my return was worth. And basically, super simple, honestly. And uh, these exist otherwise. I think these are roughly like eight fifty dollars a piece, $9, directly from Boston Scally. Basically, they just have the logo on there, but uh, Amazon has these at just a regular old price. Uh, you do get a business card that is also instructions tells you to wipe the thing down uh stick the thing to the wall and stick the thing to the thing and then you're good so what we're gonna do here is gonna measure i know the door is or this section of the door is 18 inches wide i'm gonna move the camera so i can see a little bit better and thing is since i already got the first one there i can now hang it and determine where the other ones should go so i basically can get one here and it shouldn't interfere though the best way to find that out would be grab another one yes i have two different gray ones and they are actually different styles I mean, that doesn't seem that way so actually i can probably get it upwards of here to actually make the difference and because that one is centered on the door I basically just have to figure this out and I have a nice handy dandy level in my pocket so I can do my best to level this around about there and mark it okay I can mark the sides and bottom. okay so that will give me pretty much where I need to stick this boy so we won't pull the backing off close a sharpie and basically try to land this somewhere in that vicinity stick it down now this door is painted so hopefully i won't end up you know peeling the shit off the door you know but they'll have to repaint it down the line anyways once we move out whenever that'll be you know we ain't going nowhere for a while but let me peel that grab our actual hanger Pull out our level again just to make sure. Actually, we don't need to level anymore. We just need to line up our markings effectively. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it will hold. But basically, that's that. Stick it on there. And voila. Now, one thing I am interested in is whether or not it's going to be too much movement on the door. I'll make sure I move this back. I mean, I don't do anything too crazy, but I mean, they are literally not moving because the the funny thing is the door is blocking any wind that I would consider to uh, knock them off. Now, I do have, like I said, uh, three more to hang. Shouldn't be that big a deal. They are rocking just a little bit. Funny thing is they look similar, but they're actually different fabrics, a slightly different design, different theme as well. Uh, do I have any more hats in here? I don't know. I don't think so. No. So the problem being, 
I do have quite a lot of these guys, but I could also hang more on the door over there if I get more of these hangers, which, you know, once again, I probably get some that are non-branded, but I kind of like, I kind of like that they are branded to the hats, you know, it's, I don't know, something about it, you know, it's like, just keep supporting essentially. So the thing is, is like, could I get a level across there, across, across there? And that looks like roughly one inch. So let's pull these guys down. Bust out our friend here. Which actually, I don't think that's level. I'm gonna look at it. <laughs> Maybe it's just because the thing itself is actually a little wonky. All right. So if I make that, it's close. It's real close. Up by just a hair, so I do it to there, and I can measure the distance from the wall is or from the edge is literally an inch, so that makes it real easy for me to lay it out. So I shouldn't even have to draw really, I can just stick it. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> Did not expect that, but it worked out fine. Okay, so. This guy down pretty much right there. That's almost perfectly mirrored to that one. Make sure I just kind of get it stuck good. Peel it. And they're nice foam like 3M dealies. All right, sorry, I ran out of footage. Um, so what happens when you have a week's worth of video on there from a vlog, and then it's still gotta figure out itself out. Okay, so next thing is I need to get two of these right here, so I can figure out my next spacing for this one. And I also realized that because I have five, it's gonna make it awkward for when I do this. Um, had I done, well either that or I skip this one and then I add the next two down here, because Realistically, I'm not going to be able to get that many in this one panel, but I guess it is what it is. Um, I kind of wonder, so if I can get however much distance. I like to be able to measure stuff, you know, so that's why I have the ruler that is somewhere here. I really wish I knew where my uh, measuring tape was. I don't know where it is. I haven't seen it in months. Somewhere. So... I think going the full 18 inches is a little overboard because I can get one round about here at about 13, I believe. So let me go grab another hat and figure that out. Yeah, look, they stayed right there. All right, so hang that bad boy right there. So I can get another one easily right here. So that is probably 12 inches yeah looks like it's about 12 inches give or take from the top so let me mark that over here because it is a flat thingy up there i'm gonna go 12 12 and a half just to be sure okay so if i do that Also, I like that they come individually packed, although that is a massive waste of resources, if we're honest. So, pull that out. Don't need this open. I'm gonna click each other, he's actually kinda nice. Right. So, even if I did it right there, drop the hat on the floor. Right. So even that, was not to where the top was, it was to where the hat can hang, which is comfortably 
right there to where I'm not interfering with the other ones. So let's just call it right there then. Okay. Yeah, so I was measuring to where the hat would land. Oh, this has got a cut mark on it. Interesting. Alright. So I can land this guy right about there. That's centered enough between the two hats. That's all that really matters. Give it a good rub down. By the way, this is one of my favorites that I've gotten now with the black and the khaki. Because I tend to wear black shirt, khaki shorts. It's a good combo. I had a, I had the blue version of this hat that was the wrong size. And then when I went to return it, which by the way, returning the blue one is what got me these. So... Nice. So, once again, hang it up. <laughs> it's like, just grab another hat and hang it up. There we go. So, in reality, what I'll likely use this for, at least in the strict sense, is I have ones that I'm not going to wear. So, this uh, Boondocks version, it's too big, but also it's wool. And also, this one here, this more special edition uh whiskey version here um i don't wear it that often because it is more of the like five panel type um more the flat kind and i kind of prefer the six panel um which is the major difference here because as you can see here multiple panels but well, this one's also wool much like this one so i could hang this guy yonder and, you know i wear the different gray ones and the different black ones this one being made of mostly like cotton material is really comfy, like at any given point. So really what it turns into is putting the, the more uncomfortable ones, but also like more of the special editions. So I've got one like, I, I'm, I'm not going too crazy. Like here's a special edition one for Father's Day called The Dad. And it was a plaid one. Looked really cool. Don't need it because I'll never probably wear it. But I did order one uh, the other day that I would definitely, definitely wear. Should be here in a couple of days. But I pretty much order mostly black and gray, but I also have my red. I have my baseball one. That's the uke. Um, I'll probably figure that out here in a minute. But, like, I can get all the way down to here, basically. Right? And then, once again, I can measure out an inch from the door, give or take. <clears throat> you know? Yeah, I just put stuff in the mouth to make it easier. Is what it is. Okay, so... If that's where the hat goes, so this is this is the easy part here. And so I know one inch over. That's a little too high, so we bring it down. But I don't want them touching necessarily, or at least not a ton of overlap because that caused a problem. So top, bottom. And then they're in. So pretty much right there. And so I guess I could get probably two more here. So one there, one there, in theory. Actually, I could technically go lower as long as I'm not interfering with the doorknob. But I also still have that one. But I think ultimately. <laughs> I might have like 14, 14 of these things. So, and a lot of them are in just normal circulation. Oh, perfect. Okay. 
So like I wear either this gray one, this black one, or the black one that's currently on my head, uh, like all the time. So especially on live streams. So that's pretty freaking nice right there. So I mean, real real quick and dirty video here about uh, hanging up. You know, the, the important thing is usually about figuring out how you're going to work with your collection, you know, whatever that collection might be, whether it's the statues I've got here, whether it's the figures there, Transformers over there, my, uh, you know, 8-bit collection, which I still really like. I feel like I need an 8-bit Triforce to go in there. I figured that would probably make sense. But the, uh, the hat collection. What do you do with it? Like, I know they have, like, other types of hat racks that probably even have a diamond-shaped thing, probably just like this. But at least these are pretty simple. You just peel the things off and you go about your day, you know, in theory. Or you leave them there, or whatever schmuck ends up moving in down the line. But, like, the, like I said, for the hats that are pretty much not in circulation, you know, that one, this one, I might put the uke there. Because it's white, which is already a problem. Uh, let me see. Because the uh, the two gray ones I tend to wear almost all the time. Like it's my favorite, or they are my favorite, I should say. But I like there's like just enough lip on there. Just enough lip. Now give me a second. All right, so like my red one here, I do wear it, but not like super often compared to the gray ones. And because I wear this gray one in particular quite often, I'll probably swap that out there. I know it's a silly thing, um, but what's really funny, I just walked out there to go find my other hats. They're out there somewhere or they're in here somewhere on the floor. Um, Cause there was, was a time very not long ago where I just made a pile of them on the, on the floor. Uh, because it was easier to get them up and out of the way. Um, but, you know, as for Boston Scalico, I love their, love their things. I love what they do. Um, I've always been a hat person, but I've never collected hats. I just bought a hat and I wore it until it was done. Now I'm collecting hats, trying to make stuff go with different outfits. Um, because I feel like I have more. Is it weird? I have more hats. I know I have more hats. I don't know where they're at. Um... You know, I never considered I could put one on Master Chief. That'd be pretty cool. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. You know, it's a weird, weird dealy, but, you know, collection management. It's all part of it. You know, I just worked on the thing over there earlier for the patrons. So, weird thing, but it is what it is. So, see you guys later. Remember, as always, keep on nerding. Also, uh, sign up for the Patreon. You want to see some behind-the-scenes kind of stuff. Like, a lot of times I'll unbox these hats and not really even show anybody. So they usually go to the Patreon. Oh well. Bye guys.